one of my favorite wild plants. Interesting, you know what it looks like? Candy corn. Hey everybody, welcome to Bike Hike Botany. We are going to hike this little back road that I found uh, just looking on Google Maps the other day. It's over at the end of Playa Hermosa, so at the very end of Calle Hermosa. Uh, there's another road that goes up into the mountains and apparently this road goes all the way up to Fila Negra which is another place I want to go and check out at some point. I don't know how far we're going to get today, but I'm hoping we're going to see some cool plants along the way. Come along for the adventure. Let's go. Check out the view. We can see the ocean from here already. So we've done a little bit of climbing and uh, I have a feeling that there's a lot more climbing in store for us up there's ahead. Looks like it. <laughs> Look. Kelly's just found a feather. She always finds feathers. That's pretty. This tree behind me, I believe, is called Nance. I'll put the uh, Latin name down below. This tree produces a yellow fruit that's actually quite sweet and quite delicious. There's another one up above. So from what I could see on Google Maps, this area is mainly farmland. Looks like they're growing mangoes out here. If we look over here in this Lots plot, of trees. yeah, tons of mango trees. Walking for a bit, we're already getting very high up into the mountains. Back there is Cerro Fresco, and we're heading further back there, so I imagine there's gonna be a lot more climb. I know Fila Negra going out that way, it's at a much higher elevation, so it'd be a good workout for us today. But yeah, it's a beautiful day, and in the distance over here, we have the ocean. Okay, it's starting to get a little greener. It's uh, already much cooler right here. I can feel the difference in like Okay, some really interesting plants here. Well, the one's a tree. So up here we have the balsa tree. If I look down below, it's shedding basically all of these fuzzies, which are apparently seed pods in there. It's pretty neat. On this tree, we also have a wild vanilla plant. You can see it right up here. This is uh, the seed pod that is growing in that larger tree up top. If you shake it, it makes noise. Oh. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right, right here. That's what it is. Oh. Interesting. There's the seed. Oh, wow, wow. Looks like a bean almost. Yes, it does. Never neat. Okay, Kelly calls these the firework plant. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I could see this in a bouquet. Yeah. It would be nice. Pretty in there. Look at these bizarro, whatever these are, fruit. Are they coming off this palm above? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, some type of palm fruit. Wow, look at that. It's all over the ground. Interesting. You know what it looks like? Huh. Candy corn. It does. It looks like a big piece of candy corn. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> and it's coming from yeah. this palm up here. There's a giant chunk of these fruit oh. Oh, so beautiful look at the color that's amazing so over here we have a monstera i'm no expert at monsteras but i'm gonna guess it's an adansoni oh and there's a cicada shell 
over here. Kelly spotted this beautiful heliconia. And this plant here is called the Panama hat plant. And it produces this beautiful red flower. Um, this one's not flowering right now, so I'll insert a photo here for you. They take the stems from this leaf here and then they splice it lengthwise and they use it as a fiber to make the Panama hat. Oh, this is another is that a type ginger? of ginger. We've just come across some uh, guava. I believe that's what they're called. If not, I'll put the correct name down below. But these are seed pods. As you can see, this one's been split open. And then we have a little seed here. And it's covered in this white, kind of mushy, mucousy membrane. And I'm not sure, but I think you can eat the seeds. Like I think people eat the flesh off of the seeds. Here's the tree up there. So you can see some of those seed pods hanging. Yeah, and this, uh, this road's really awesome. Like never been up here before, but just keeps going up and up and up. It's pretty neat because you can see how the vegetation changes as we continue upward. Look at this, a bunch of begonias. Mm. This whole hillside's covered in these begonias. These are the multinervia. We're not like 100% sure what it is, but it looks a lot like a plant that we saw when we went to Las Monas, to the waterfall, and the guide told us it's called uh, what is it again? Bolas de Pero or something. Basically like dog's balls is what they call it. Huevos, huevos de Pero. Yeah, huevos de Pero. Uh, I remember him telling us about these little thorns on the leaf as well, which is really interesting. But he did say this is a toxic plant, so better not to touch it. There are two plants here. There is a Monstera Panati Partita right over here. And then this one here, hmm, I want to say it's a Syngonium or it's a Philodendrum Tripartitum. I have a hard time distinguishing the two of them because they look alike. I come across this, this tree here. Here's the leaf here. Let me get a look at the fruit and yeah they turn red it's a red one on the ground right here oh. almost looks like a cherry tomato pretty pretty cool almost looks like olives yeah they do. They look <laughs> very like strange This is a Philodendron terodum. And these can get extremely large in size, like way larger than my body. If you look, one of the pretty features this plant has is this lovely ruffled petiole. I think that is so pretty. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite wild plants. And if you look back here, it's growing all along the base of the tree. So very neat to see these because I actually haven't seen one in quite a while. So beautiful. There's a monstera in this tree here. Oh, there's a monkey? Oh, or capuchin. Yeah. Right or capuchin. There. Oh, there's, yeah, there's several of them in there. There's a whole bunch of monkeys. That's crazy. And here I was looking at the Monstera. <laughs> Good to know there's monkeys up here. All right, there's a pisote over in the tree. 
this over here. Oh, he's making his way down. Hello, buddy. Well, I've got a minute. I wanted to show you guys something. Woohoo! Happy feet, happy feet. That's right, I got some hikers. And it's thanks to you who have supported me on my Buy Me A Coffee or my Patreon page. So just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. And as you can see, makes a world of a difference because I'm out hiking today. So hopefully I will be able to do a lot of hiking in the next bit and put out some more videos. I'm sorry I haven't put anything out in the past month, but I was very sick, home in bed for at least a month. <laughs> First with some sort of cold, then a sinus infection, and then some eye problems. It's been kind of a uneventful month. And I can hear a toucan up ahead. Yeah, it's like back in PA. Wow. Like milkweed. And Look that's what at that. that looks like only a gigantic version. That's amazing. It almost looks like doll's hair, like yeah. fake plastic hair. I bet like you they travel stuff. amazingly. Yeah, <laughs> well, this is the stuff that blows, like back in PA, it blows through the wind. Huh. So you want to try to catch it, they say catch it and make a wish. I believe Chirpo is that range right back there, because that's the tallest one and it's further south. Getting some pretty good views from here. How long have we been hiking? What time is it? 9.39, so we've probably been hiking about two hours, I think. And I'm um, gonna keep going. There's a giant vanilla plant that's fallen on the ground. I got it. Uh. Coming back around. He's on my hand. I can't. Oh my god. He came to see me. Beautiful. Now we're really way back into the mountains. It's a hot one. Oh my god. Oh, so Can't get this one either. It's those doggone short little look, legs. Look, I'm like an inch away from the Oh my god. They goodness. don't look. They don't, they don't look, look that tasty, eat. guys. No. Oh. I don't know. They yeah. look a little bit rotten. Let's break it open. It smells good. It's very fragrant. Oh, it looks like an orange. You know? I don't know. It looks pretty tasty to me. Hmm. It's like those um lime orange. Lime oranges. Oh, very tart. <laughs> what? Want some? No, thank you. All right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. No, they're really tart. Oh, very tart. It's like a lime orange. Oh. It's beautiful. Let's just come off of this tree up here. Okay, we saw this flower here, just all on its own, a little unusual. Probably comes from someone's garden because there is a farm very close by. But it's beautiful. This hike 
pretty long. Nobody's out here. It's just a few farms or whatever, but man, it, it has the best views ever. Check it out. Okay, so I think we've reached the halfway point or basically the point where we're gonna turn around and head back because um, we've been doing a lot of climbing for what, it's like 11 and we started hiking at around 7.30 this morning. So we've been hiking pretty steadily, we just took a break. But we're looking in the distance and we're not sure. It looks like the trail might go up this way, which let's be honest, looks pretty insane. Like I said, we've been hiking for Three and a half hours, yeah. And this is the first break we've taken. I don't know how many kilometers we've done so far. Anyways, uh, I know that if you continue going this way, it goes out towards Fila Negra. So hopefully one day I can do a video about that area as well. But it's really amazing out here. I have to say, I'm really happy we came out here. I didn't even know this existed. And we're very far back. So if you look over this way, you can actually see the ocean way back there and you can see that hill in the distance that would be like Cerro Fresco so we're pretty far and sufficiently tired <laughs> got six miles in six miles okay so six miles back so that's a long day a 12 mile day uh -huh. yeah. We are making our way back down. So it's hot, but we're getting there. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, well, that is about it for today. Uh, we've hiked 12 miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty hot. hot. It's midday it's too, it's like 1 p.m. So yeah, it's a good time to end it. And this was a really great trail, uh, pretty cool just to Go check out a new back road here that's close to Hako. It uh, definitely makes me want to go back and venture a little further, see if we can make it all the way to Fila Negra sometime. If you guys enjoy my content, why don't you go and hit the like button or even better, subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of my adventures. And if you want to support, my channel even further and you want to help me create more content you can go on over to my buy me a coffee page or my patreon page i'm going to leave links down below i hope you enjoyed today's hike and we'll see you on the next one Pura vida. peace out, peace out. <laughs>